Good morning, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you all through this uh, Tabernacle Lecture. Uh, quite a long time we couldn't uh, see because uh, I had many other schedule. In our church, we had a Bible seminar and also we had uh, uh, some uh, online Bible uh, camp. So I couldn't uh, make to uh, share with you through Tabernacle. Uh, last time uh, I told you about the lamp stand, lamp stand in the Tabernacle. The first, uh, let's just see the scripture. Today, let's just open Exodus. Exodus chapter 25, verse 31. You shall also make a lampstand of pure gold. The lampstand shall be of hammered work. Each shaft, it branches. It bores, it ornamental knobs, and the flowers shall be of one of piece. Next verse. And six branches shall come out of its, uh, its uh, side, three branches of lampstand out of the side, and the three branches of the lamp out of the other side. Yes, today we led up to verse 32. As you see this uh, picture, uh, according to the verse uh, we led, uh, from this shaft, uh, three branches come out from uh, this shaft, and another three uh, come out like this. So total seven, uh, seven pieces of uh, these branches. Actually, six branches. Why? Uh, this is shaft. So like body. So branch is a six. So all these branches come out from this shaft one piece of pure gold so total six branch so today what i want to share i want to talk about six number six number six uh, is uh, symbolize uh, human so even god created man on the six days so uh, six is the, the image of the man. But this uh, branch, as you see, six came out from this uh, shaft, the total seven. But six, uh, today I want to share with you about six. Uh, also, today, let's just see another scripture. In the book of Daniel, Chapter 3, verse 1. Uh, Lebuchenezia, the king, made an image of gold, whose height was six cubit, sorry, sixty cubits, and its uh, width six cubits. He set it up in the uh, plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. So, as you see this scripture, uh, the king uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he made uh, the image of gold. The size was, height was 60 cubits and it weighed 6 cubits. So, uh, through this uh, the image of gold, the king made the people to bow to this gold. And uh, you see the size, eh? 60 height and 60 weight, uh, 60 height and 6 uh, width. So you see 
number six. So uh, when you see the number six, uh, you can see is the image of man. And also we see in the Revelation chapter 13 verse 18, here is the wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of man. This number is six six. So uh, through number six, what we can know, we can see the human image. So as you, I show you the branches. A branch is six, but it came out from the shaft, the total seven. But when it is just six, as the human itself, what the human do before God? Always human do evil before God and people against God. So also, uh, through the Babel Tap in the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 11, uh, there are stories uh, about Babel Tap. So the people, they want to build this Babel Tap to uh, against God. Like they want to be uh, uh, like same like God. So they put the Babel but what God say, God, uh, through the Genesis chapter 11, verse 6, And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Not, now, not, nothing that they propose to do with, uh, with her from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand on another's speech. So through this one, what we can know? Yes, actually, uh, the people, they want to be similar like God. They want to be like God. They want to against God. So, God came to the, the world and destroyed uh, their languages. When they are one, they, want, uh, they become one with the like God. So God confused uh, them through the language, scatter all the people. So through this one, uh, what we can see, whenever Human walk before God, always human to evil. So number six explain about the man, and uh, number six as human, always against the God. So sometimes God came to the world and destroy the work of man, like you see this Babel top. If they just continue to do their, their own will, then they against God continue. So this is a human image. When we live by our way, the way of man always against God. So sometimes God destroy our own will. So even though we want to be succeed, sometimes we fail. Even though we want to join very good university, but we fail. Even though we want to do well and succeed well, and we we try to get a strong, you know, uh, company. We want to establish like our own business, but sometimes we see like. We fail and fail and fail. Because if we continue to succeed, we never look upon God. Through the fail, 
we discover the exist of God and we can see like we are weak so we discover we need God so through today uh, I share uh, some uh, scriptures so as I explained to you uh, lamb stand it uh, shape like three branches on another side and three branches also the other side so total six but if it is just six then as I explained it's like uh, uh, human works do evil continue so number six I told you the image of man and what is a work of man you know always a uh, man against God so this lampstand not just the six only all the branch three and the other three came out from shaft so it became seven so seven is the perfect number so when the man just itself as a number six uh, then the man do only evil. But if the man come out, uh, come out from the God and Jesus Christ, now it becomes seven and become holy and uh, it become clean even before God. So through lampstand image, what God want to explain to us? The number six always do evil and against God. But if this uh, man come out from Jesus Christ, uh, now it start to be uh, perfect and holy and even God pleased. So as I show you the lampstand image, we see image again. The lampstand image is like this. So, uh, three branches come out from this body, shaft, and also the other three come out from here. Not connect from other side, just uh, came out, came out from this body. So, uh, before God, Human is always do evil and dirty. But when we came out from the Jesus Christ, when we accept Jesus, then it is like uh, uh, we can be holy and like righteous through Jesus Christ. But if it is just the uh, you know, man only themselves stay then always against to eat as i show you number six several you know example like uh, in the book of daniel even in the uh, revelation so always the man to evil the time we can see number six the human do evil continue the bible says so do evil and dirty continue. But when uh, we united with Jesus, when we became one with Jesus, the man who supposed to evil and dirty, it become new creation, become new. So three branches and the other side three branches, actually it is a six. But through Christ, came out from Jesus Christ, he become holy and good. So today, uh, let's open another scripture in the book of Corinthians. Uh, second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 
Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, old things have become new. So, through you, uh, this verse, uh, what we can see, this scripture say, if anyone is in Christ, in Christ, in Christ means, as I told you, like this lampstand, lampstand, you see this image, it came out from one body. So, it's like, you know, if anyone is in Christ, in Christ, then as we read that scripture, he is a new creation, new. And all the things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So what is all the things? All the thing is our own image when we was just uh, ourselves. I explain to you number six. When the human, just the human itself, always human against God to evil and dirty. That is all the things. But when, when we are in Christ, when we are belong to Jesus, when we accept Christ as a personal savior, now we became new creation. So as we are in Christ, you know, Jesus, he is holy and perfect. So those who are sinners, we can say they are not in Christ. But through accepting Christ, who wash our sin, like Jesus Christ wash all our sin, so those who believe that, even they are no longer sinner, they join in Jesus. So as we read the scripture, we see uh, those who are in Christ, He is a new creation, new creation. So through this lampstand, what God want to explain. Three branches came out from here and the other branch came out here. So it becomes seven. Seven. So it means, you know, everyone who believes Jesus, they become one with Christ. So it becomes perfect. Seven. As you, know, as you know, number seven is perfect. So if we are not in Christ, we remain as number six. And I told you number six, always against God and defeat God and do evil. But when this person who like, like, belong to number six, the, the man who just do evil, if they belong to Jesus Christ, they become new creation. All the things pass away. So, now they became, you know, the one of Jesus Christ and become holy and righteous, not by themselves, through, you know, come in, in Jesus Christ. So these three branches uh, connect, connect, you know, from the beginning. So it means it came out, came out from one body, not, you know, uh, from another place and uh, connect each other, not like that, from one body. So as we read uh, this uh, scripture, uh, we read uh, this uh, lampstand. This lampstand came out from one piece of pure gold, just one piece. So the person who made this uh, lampstand, you know, through hammer make uh, all this uh, lampstand. So this is all one body, one body, not separate, not connect with the other things, just one body. So even this part and this part, same body. Even this part and this part, all the same body. Why? It came out from one pure gold. So all this one, connected completely and we can say one one together 
So that's why those who are in Christ, they are one with Jesus Christ. As you see this lampstand, just one. So those who are in Christ, they are one with Jesus Christ. So we see another scripture in the book of Hebrew. Let's go Hebrew. Chapter 2, verse 11. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 11. Everyone please go. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 11. It says, For both he who sanctifies and those who are in, sorry, those who are being sanctified are all of one. For which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. So you see, the for both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one. So he who sanctifies is Jesus Christ, and who those who are being sanctified is us who were worshipped through Christ are all of one. So we are one with Christ. Not separate, not similar, or not just uh, look same. No, just one. So through this lampstand, as we uh, see this uh, body, this uh, lampstand came out from one piece of gold. So the man who make this one made by hammer. So everything came out from one piece. The one. Uh, pure gold. So this part and this part, as I told you, you know, all just the uh, same. So we can say one, just the one. So uh, we see Jesus Christ and those who accept Christ, they are one, so not different, just the same, just equal. So as Jesus is holy, we say we are holy and perfect. Why? Because we are one. So even we read the second Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, they are new creation. So those who are in Christ, they are new creation. You know, I told you, we was born as a sinner. And we are man who is number six. Number six always against God and do evil and dirty. So this one cannot be with Jesus Christ one as they are evil. But those who accept Christ, they are in Christ so that they become one with Christ. They become righteous and holy. So you see this branch total six together with this chef. So total seven, number seven. So number seven is perfect number. So actually there was no other way. Man become wholly perfect. Through themselves, impossible. But through Christ, we became wholly and perfect. So through this lampstand, God want to express. You see, we became one with Christ. Not we try something we do ourselves. It's because we came out from Jesus Christ. It's because we are in Christ so that we became holy and perfect. So this is a lampstand image. So we could discover these things. Yes, we are one with Christ, not different anything. So today I share up to here. I hope we see you tomorrow and continue we share about Tabana. Thank you so much.
Thank you.